Hello bearded bee people. Welcome back to the BNK's Bees channel. So uh, as I said recently, I, I'm just trying to rack my brain figuring out what are the most common questions asked to me and asked on online forums at each particular part of the season. I'd like to make a video answering these questions, especially if I had asked them at some point in the past. And one thing that I deal with a lot and that I dealt with in wonder when I was a beginner um, is why are my bees so angry in September and October? Uh, well, it's not Africanized. It's not the fact that your bees swarmed and were replaced by some angry or set. It's a circumstance of the season. There are a couple of simple reasons and, you know, there's a really simple method of, of not having to, to deal with that. And I'll, I'll go over that first and that is just be careful. Uh, wear your protective equipment, always bring out your smoker, and know that October and September beekeeping is not the same as April and May, or even July and, and August. It's just a different, uh, different scenario. A lot of the reasons have to do with the fact that everything is dried up. This was the last bastion of nectar flow the goldenrod and it's turned to fluff absolutely worthless at this point for the bees so given the fact that there are a lot of bees in each hive and the fact that there's nothing blooming it doesn't take away from the fact that they're still looking for food and where do they go to find food if you don't have it setting out for them or somewhere inside their hive for them to deal with they go next door they go next door and they're not very nice about it they're not trying to borrow a cup of sugar they are trying to rob that colony out and they will do it to the fullest extent of the term, if they are given the opportunity, they will kill a neighboring colony if you don't give them what you need to give them to be able to defend it. And by that, I mean reducing that entrance size. I've gone over that a lot in the past, but make sure that those entrances are of a manageable size for your bees to be able to effectively defend the hive. But obviously, uh, regardless of whether, of whether they are a manageable size or not, the uh, robbing attempts raise tensions and with a lot of bees and nothing to do that just really focuses their attention on those raised tensions given that with the fact that they have more honey now to defend than they ever have in the past once again those tensions are raised um, given that with the fact that the weather is not quite perfect bee weather. Right now it's got to be, I don't know, low 60s. Um, it's not necessarily the perfect bee day. It's overcast as we get a lot here in fall in Michigan. And so there's just a lot of circumstances that lead us to the end result. And that is hives that are much, much angrier than they were a couple of months ago. Um, but and all, all in all, except for, you know, you enjoying your time out in your bee yard in a nice, calm, and relaxing way. Other than that, I mean, it's a good thing. They're doing what they have to do. If they weren't acting like that, then they would get robbed out. They would, you know, get infested with um, mice and, and all of the other things that are trying to get in those hives right now. So know that your bees are doing their job and your job as a beekeeper is to understand that and be prepared for it. This hive or these hives in this yard are much, much calmer than our other hives. Oh, there was a yellow jacket right there. Um, so yeah, the... Uh, the hives here are much, much calmer because there's open food, there's food on all of the hives, inside all of the hives, and um, because all of the entrances are of a manageable size, they're differing sizes in, in large part because of the fact that I'm using random scraps of wood to reduce the entrance sizes, but also because the larger, more densely populated colonies don't quite need the entrance size to be as small as some of the smaller uh, colonies. So everything is as it should be, or at least it's close to that fact. And so that helps keep the tensions at a minimum. Um, we do have a yellow jacket trying to infiltrate here. 
they don't seem too worried about it. Um, obviously, this entrance size is very manageable. This hive is really heavy and really densely populated, so I'm not worried about them. It's fairly easy to see robbing when it's going on. It looks as crazy as you expect it to look. But yeah, so know that uh, this is just a different kind of time for the bees, and so therefore it's a different kind of time for us as beekeepers. Be prepared for that and be careful. Always bring your smoker out with you. Always have protective gear, if not on, with you. Um, so yeah, that is why your bees are so angry now. And that does not necessarily mean that they will be that way in April. So, thanks for watching. If you liked it, click like. If you haven't already, click subscribe and you'll get notified for other videos. Tune in on Friday for another episode of Random Inspection Friday. Get out there and have some fun with your bees.